The T parameters of a network consisting of only impedances are A, B, C and D. If all the impedances of the network are doubled, then the new T parameters are. The question is very simple to understand. There is a two port network having only impedances and the T parameters or the transmission parameters of the network are A, B, C and D. Now we are required to find the new T parameters when all the impedances of the network are doubled. And I want you to pause the video and try to solve this question on your own. I hope you are done and now I will provide the solution. To find out what will happen to the T parameters when we double the impedances, I have taken one simple two port network with an impedance. And for simplicity, we will assume the impedance is equal to 1 ohm. And if you remember the previous lecture, we found A, B, C and D parameters of this particular network. And we got the result A equal to 1 ohm, B equal to Z, which is 1 ohm in our case, C is equal to 0 and D is equal to 1. Now taking this particular network is not going to provide the complete insight. Why? Because parameter C is equal to 0 ohm. This means when we double the impedance and have 2 ohms as the impedance, A, B and D will have the changes according to their nature but C will still be equal to 0 ohm because this particular network has C parameter 0 always and therefore we will not take this network and we will have another simple two port network with an impedance equal to 1 ohm and we found parameter A of this network is equal to 1 ohm, parameter B is equal to 0 ohm, parameter C is equal to 1 over z and z is equal to 1 therefore c is equal to 1 ohm parameter d is equal to 1 ohm now again there is same problem this time b is always equal to 0 and therefore we will not be able to find out what is happening to parameter b when we double the impedance of this network and therefore we will not select this network for our analysis so what I will do is, I will combine these two networks and have the two port network like this. This is impedance Z1 and let's say it is equal to 1 ohm. This is impedance Z2 and let's say it is also equal to 1 ohm. And uh, if you remember, in the previous lecture we found parameter A, parameter B, parameter C and parameter D of this two port network and uh, A is equal to 1 plus Z1 divided by Z2, Z1 divided by Z2 and uh, for these two values we will have A equal to 2 ohms, B is equal to Z1 and therefore B is equal to 1 ohm, C is equal to 1 over Z2 and therefore it is also equal to 1 ohm, D is always equal to 1 ohm. Now according to the question we are required to double the impedances and therefore this time we will have 2 ohms as the value of this resistance and 2 ohms as the value of this resistance and uh, this time parameter A will be 1 plus 2 divided by 2 that is 2 ohms. Parameter B will be equal to Z1 which is 2 therefore 2 ohms is the value of B parameter C is equal to 1 over 2 ohm and D will be 1 ohm now when you compare these values with these values you will find parameter A is same parameter D is also same so A and D parameters remains the same when we double the impedance values and this means the gains are same, the current gain and voltage gain both are same and uh, parameter B is getting doubled. This means the impedance value is getting doubled. 
parameter C is getting reduced by half. Therefore, the admittance value is reducing to half when we are doubling the impedance values. So this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.